What is going on guys? This is your host Real Sykes and welcome to today's Call of Duty AW video. Now in today's AW video, I wanted to show you guys a low round strategy that I personally use when playing Exo Zombies. I know those of you that have just picked up the DLC, you guys may have a little issue trying to learn some of the basics of the map. So hopefully, in today's video, I can set you guys up for the low rounds. That way you guys can transition and go for high rounds, you know, 20, 30, 40, 50, etc. So that's it guys, without further ado, let's dive into it. So anyway guys, once you start out, what you guys want to go ahead and do is keep the pistol don't purchase any weapon whatsoever because let's face it you guys are on a low round you're essentially going to purchase an overpowered weapon and all it's going to do is kill the zombies in one shot you guys are not going to get a huge profit in terms of points so what you guys want to do is shoot the zombies in the leg or in the groin area for about four to five bullets once you guys have done that simply go up to them and knife them now i personally do this for about one to two rounds I stay in the central starting location where you guys first start out So go ahead and just shoot them four to five times and then go ahead and knife them That way you guys can go ahead and maximize the amount of points that you guys can get for simply killing the zombies so once you guys have done that, go ahead and open up the central hub, which is this big door that leads into this big open area. Now once you guys have done that, go ahead and if you have enough points, open up the B hallway. Now for me, in this tutorial, I didn't have enough points to open up any other rooms. So what I decided to do is go back to the starting location and keep farming as much as I possibly could. Now as soon as you guys get a few extra thousand points, all you guys want to do is go down B hallway, or also known as the exoskeleton hallway. And on the right, you guys will see a tube looking hallway, which will open up the exo testing room. Now, once you guys have done that, go up the stairwell, follow where I do. You guys can turn on the power and grab the exo suit. Now, if you guys did this right, you guys should be able to do this by round three. If you guys don't know, on round four, you guys will have a boss wave with a bunch of dogs, which without the exo suit, it's somewhat of a pain in the butt to accomplish. So make sure you guys grab the good old exosuit and then head back to the open area because by this time, it should be round four or five for you. You guys should have a dog wave. You guys can go kill all the dogs out. Make sure you guys can go and optimize the maximize the amount of points you guys can get. And once you guys have done that, go back down B hallway, go to this location, turn on the power. And once you guys have done that, there's just a few more steps to set you guys up for the high rounds. And once you guys have done that, go ahead and turn the power on and go purchase Exo Health. And if you guys don't know what that is, it's essentially Juggernog. It allows you guys to have more health, which in return lets zombies hit you more. So especially, you know, if you guys are going for higher rounds or if you guys get trapped in a corner, you know, normally if you guys get hit two times, well, you're screwed. With Exo Health, you guys can get hit a few extra times, which will save you guys a ton in the high rounds. So make sure that you guys get Exo Health. Now here are the last few steps to set you guys up for the high rounds. And once you guys have done that, head back to the central starting location, purchase the bulldog on the wall. The reasoning behind this is because in the high rounds, you guys don't want to have to be running around the map trying to get more ammo. You know, here, the wall weapon is always there, which in return means that you guys have unlimited ammo. And plus, it's a pretty high-powered weapon. So go ahead and purchase the bulldog and just keep farming the hell out of those zombies. Now, by this time, you guys should have an exosuit, exo health, and you guys should have a decently damaged weapon. Now, the last step is really optional for you guys. I didn't really do it the first time, but I find that, you know, in due time, it's something that you guys should do. So you guys can open up the administration room, and you guys can go upgrade the Bulldog for 2,500 points, which, like I said, at the very start, you know, from round 1 to 10, really isn't needed. However, once you guys start getting in about round 20, 30, uh, and the higher rounds, you guys definitely want to upgrade the Bulldog. Otherwise, you guys will never get any kills. But that's it guys, once you've upgraded the Bulldog, go back to the starting location and simply farm counterclockwise. So just run around the bus over and over, if there's a zombie in front of you, uh, jump over it. And for the most part, guys, that is my low round strategy. I did this, and I got to round 20, and then I backed out because I had to make this video. So I'm pretty sure you guys can get even further, but for the most part, guys, hopefully this does help you in terms of setting yourself up in Exo Zombies. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please support it by smacking that like button and subscribing. Let's shoot for 150 likes. I know you guys could do it. Anyway, guys, this has been your host, Real Sykes, and I will talk to you guys later.